Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, I am gonna show you an amazing estate sale haul. I went a couple of weekends ago and I need to show you the stuff so that I can put some tags on it. Um, if you wanna see what I grabbed, stick around. The fun part about this estate sale is I happen to have met this lady before. She is downsizing her home. We used to go to mops together at the same time back when my oldest was like, you know, in the mob stage, which was a minute ago. Um, but she has the best taste. Um, day one is when I went, right when it opened, and I grabbed the stuff that I must have because honestly, some of the prices, some of the prices were a little bit like TJ Maxx prices and which she should totally get if she could, right? And then I went back on Sunday morning, bright and early and got 50% off. So I am just gonna get started and show you what I grabbed. I'm gonna start with Friday. Friday, one of the things that I grabbed, um, I just thought it was really cool. This was only $6. I just thought it was really unique and maybe it would have been around for half price day, but I thought $6 was a great buy for this one of a kind Christmas tree. I don't know where she got it, but it's really cool. Something else that I got on the first day is this gorgeous, gorgeous quilt. Now, I'm keeping this. I've always, my mother-in-law makes quilts. And listen, the kids are on the list first, right? I'm gonna get a quilt one day, I know I will. But until that time, like these are so my colors. This was $20. I may have been able to thrift for a while and find one in the wild, but I thought this was a really gorgeous, colorful quilt. Um, happy with this purchase. It's not as soft as I would like it to be, um, but she is a photographer and probably use this for a backdrop. So maybe a couple of washes and I can get this going much better. So another thing that I could not live without, I have been, I love and I've been able to sell um, felt ornaments. I got these for a dollar a piece and then these three were a dollar a piece. Thought for sure that I could resell those, but I love felt ornaments on my own Christmas trees. So we'll have to see what happens there. Um, also, I'm gonna go show you this. This month's project that we're working on is my daughter Piper's bedroom. She is 14. She's wanting to do a vintage vibe. So I grabbed this really cool um, floor lamp for $45. I thought that the lampshade was worth that alone. So I grabbed it. If she didn't want it, I totally know I could get my money back in the booth and as I was checking out, someone was already trying to buy it from my pile. So I knew that would not have, have been around on any of the discount days. Um, as well as this little stool I got for $10. We moved her room around a little bit so she has a little sitting area now. So we're still working on the chair part. This is all, this is our pseudo chair space. But thought this was a good start for that. That is the end of day one. Everything else that I'm going to show you, I got on Sunday morning, nice and early, 50% off. And I am going to tell you the prices that I paid for this. So let's start off with this. this I did reels, and this is the thing that most of you told me I needed to go back for. These, she said she doesn't remember where she got them. They're called Place and Time Holiday Craft Wood Decor. The tags are still on them. These retail for $34. She had them for sale for $30. And even on Sunday, they weren't selling for $15 a piece. So what I said is, if I take all of these, which are the three big ones, 
the two little ones she had for $10 piece. Uh, if I take all of these for 40, would you sell them to me? So I grabbed all of these wooden nutcrackers for $40. Her plan was to spray paint them all gold, which that's probably gonna be gorgeous. But I feel like if you got a multicolored one, that would be an easy thing to do. So I was thinking around Christmas time of doing a slight stain and just having them be very unique because they're all wood, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's just a clear coat with a little bit of stain or some stain with some white wax, I just thought these could look really cool. So I'm going to save these probably for my own home. I don't know. We'll see how they turn out and what I think I could get for them. So I took your advice and I made sure I brought these guys home. This one has something missing, she said, broke off. But I figured if I could sand around it, um, I could fake it and nobody would know the difference. Let's continue on the Christmas theme. I love making little teacups with um, trees and stuff in them around Christmas and in fall time. This was $2, half off. This was 75 cents. This one was $3. Couldn't get those at Hobby Lobby for that price. These were $3. One of them, the light works, one doesn't, but I figured, you know, for $1.50 a piece, these would be these would be great. She charged me $2 for this. No, she said $2, so it was only $1. There's a little bit of red right here. Um, so we've got to figure out how to hide that. But this is a substantial piece of winter greenery that I think would help my booth to just look amazing when it time, comes time for that. Um, these little ornaments, I, I paid a dollar a piece for them. These ornaments I paid a dollar fifty a piece for. And she said that she used to be able to sell these. She had a retail store at one point for $28. They're really, they're gorgeous. So, I mean, I'm not probably not gonna charge that much, but I will totally put those in my booth at Christmas time. And this was also pretty cute. She originally got this for, I paid 50 cents for it. She really originally got this for $3.99 at like probably Home Goods, but it's a cute little Christmas book. This was a dollar and I thought it'd be cute in my booth at Christmas time. Little Santa Claus. <laughs> His clothes are on the um, string. And then this was also a dollar. Let it snow. I might keep this for my house because I do more whites and neutrals and that totally goes with it. These guys were, I think, $1.50. Salt and pepper shakers. This little corner basket was $2, or, you know, $1, because it was labeled as two. Thought it was really cute. These were all between 50 cents and 25 cents. Ornaments. Figured um, this is like a little, you could totally upcycle that and put some cord on it and Get back way more than 25 cents, which is what I paid for it. She's a photographer and my daughter is also as well. She offered the opportunity for Piper to um, intern with her come Christmas time. So we'll see if that actually happens. But thought this was a really cute, this could be like a cute little Christmas ornament um, for somebody who loves photography. Thought that was really cute. I mean, I think I paid a dollar for it. And then this is um, Creative Co-op. I paid 50 cents for it. It is a strawberry container. Just thought it was really cute. It's a ceramic um, strawberry container or berry container. Like I need a hole in my head. <laughs> well, I got this basket, probably paid a dollar for it, but it was more so that I could carry, I got this ribbon, $1.50. Get this Christmas ribbon, 50 cents. This is actually something that I had bought at Hobby Lobby and returned. 
Um, but for 50 cents, I got that and another one that's nice neutral colors. This is like this furry ribbon. Paid 50 cents for that. And then this one, I mean, it just kind of goes with all my pink crazy stuff. This was 50 cents. Look at that ribbon. So I grabbed some ribbon. Felt like those were good deals to kind of change my ribbon choices just a little bit. She said this was $5 on um, Sunday, which meant I paid $2.50 for it. It already has that rusty, crusty look. Y'all, it was outside, so I need to clean it up a little bit. But I love how it looks already. This is the kind of look I would try to get with paint and distressing. This one might have to stay on my front porch because I need to babysit it for a while before I try to sell it. <laughs> Um, this is something, I paid 50 cents for this. Um, I have used this to make gnome beards before, and it is way more than 50 cents at Hobby Lobby. So I picked that up without anything specific in mind. This gorgeous piece of fabric, she had some gorgeous stuff, because again, photography was $1.50. This gorgeous, like, golden brown fabric and then this one this one might be one of my favorites it's like a two-sided I paid five dollars for this one but look at it my colors and then it has like this almost backing attached to the back of it's just beautiful don't have a super plan form yet but I know that I like in my booth, I really like it when I add fabric in there. It feels like it warms up, it cozies up the space. So um, it also does the same thing for my home. So honestly, I'm gonna check around my home first. Mama gets first right of refusal. If it doesn't work in my space, then I'll go sell it in my booth. This was a fun one, labeled as $10. I paid $5 for it. This is like a solid wire basket. And it looks so beautiful with these fabrics inside of it. I don't know. Staying at home, going to the booth. I don't know about that. Um, I did not pay for this basket. So this basket came to help me get stuff to the car. Golden 8 by 10 frames. Guys, I'm not doing anything with this. Any golden frames that I've been putting on my booth have been selling. I paid $2.50 for this. I'm gonna put once some of those pastoral JRV rice papers that retail for $3.95. Um, I'm gonna put those inside of here and sell it as a set and count myself lucky for getting these for $2.50. No upcycling required. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Look at this one. This is gorgeous. I mean, again, I might look around my house and see if I need anything in my house first, because that's how mama rolls. So what did you guys think? I spent, I think $90 on that Friday and like in the $95 range on the Sunday. The big ticket items were obviously that $45 floor lamp and then my $20 quilt but I felt like the style of it, like it was just totally my style and I knew it was gonna be for me. That's the thing, when you go to these types of things and you know you're not trying to resell them, it really is, um, those were good prices to me. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think I should do with those wooden nutcrackers? I'm excited for that to be one of my Christmas upcycle videos. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite find was. I don't know, $2.50 for this. That's kind of fun. If you guys are new here, I normally do DIY videos every Friday. So this video right here is an extra video for the week. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell to all so you get updated every time I, I um, upload a new video. Um, I did make this announcement in my last video, 
exciting things on Thursday. My friend Sonnet over at Sonnet's Garden Blooms interviewed me for her podcast. And that is going to be going live Thursday morning. Um, anywhere podcasts are, like Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And she'll also have it over on her YouTube channel as a video podcast as well. I will make sure I share that on all my socials. Just wanted to give you a heads up, the exciting things coming my way. Also, um, I did some teasers this past weekend. I got this new beautiful bracelet. It's a set. Um, this is one piece and then this is one string that wraps around. I met this gorgeous lady at the Pinners Conference who has this company and I have applied to be a wholesale stockist because I love her heart. I love her messaging and it's something that I'm at least going to be selling on my website and am hoping to be selling um, in either one of my um, booth locations, obviously pending approval, but I'm excited about that. And if you guys don't know about the Pinners Conference, it's basically Pinterest come to life um, with vendors. And I usually do like six classes on Friday, six classes on Saturday, just pay for the class load and you pick what you wanna take. It was definitely um, food for my creative soul this weekend, learning some new techniques. I did some acrylic painting, which I love to do and um, do often. But my most exciting class was a watercolor class where she helped me be not so afraid of painting with watercolor. So that was fun. They go around the country, usually to big metropolitan areas. So check that out if there's one near you. I highly, highly recommend it. That is all I have for today. Guys, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys on Friday with my normal video. Bye guys.